Mo, congratulations on your signing your new contract for Arsenal. Can you tell us what it means to you? First of all, thank you for saying congratulations to me. Uh, of course, it means so much to me because it's, um, this is what I was mentioning all the time before this happened. Uh, because it's, um, I love this club and uh, it's, I feel like uh, I'm part of this family. And to continue in this uh, amazing club and the amazing family, this means so much for me. Um, I'm very happy and uh, very excited for the future as well. The, the feeling is, uh, and the emotion as well, to, to go over it like um, the whole season and then the last year for me here and then Arsenal decide to, to give you a new contract. It's something really good. So what were the decisions you had to make and who did you speak to about uh, making this decision? Uh, first of all, like my family and my friends, but all of them, they know how much I love Arsenal. <laughs> and they know already when I talk to, to them all the time what you think about to stay in Arsenal because Arsenal, they start now to talk to me about a new contract. And all of them just say the same thing. More you love Arsenal and you love to stay in Arsenal. I say yes, but you know, like now the, this, they give me a new contract. Shall you know, like of course I need the ideas and the, what do you think from from this from these ideas? And then they say, "Mo, you, you're gonna stay." We know this. We if we talk and we say, "No, we, you know, if you go and you go another challenge and stuff like this, you will say no and you're gonna stay." I say yes, but you know, like just to have some conversation with you to just maybe. I got some ideas, but uh, in the end, um, I just decided to, to stay in Arsenal because this, uh, I've been here for almost seven years now and uh, I'm part of this club uh, and I'm really happy to decide to stay in Arsenal. So you must have had some good positive conversations with Mikel Arteta and Edu? Yeah, um, I spoke to, to Edu first of all when, uh, when they decided and then they said to me, Mo, we, de we decide now to give you a new contract. And it was a really positive uh, conversation between me and him and the way he talked to me and the way they, they, uh, they see what, what I'm doing to, the, to this team and the club. And I was really happy to hear this one from Edu. And, uh, and then I spoke to Mikhail, of course, um, because I need always I, go, I speak to him because I need to, listen, to hear what, what he thinks about me. Um, and I always say to him, Mikhail, I'm, I'm really appreciated what you've done for me, because with Mikel I play more time than than before. I'm 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 glad, you know, like and I'm always say to him this. I'm I'm appreciate everything you've done to me because the way I play, the way I'm understanding the game as well. And then I say to him, listen, Mikel, if you say to me I want to stay, you want to me to stay, I'm gonna stay. If you want to me to leave, I just I'm gonna do whatever you want. Um, and then he just speak to me, and then the way he speak about me. Is something like really make me emotion. Uh, really something really good for for me to hear from from Mikael. And the way I play, the way I I help the team, the way I'm being positive, and it's uh, for me incredible to feel to feel this way from from Mikael and uh, from the club and Edu, and I'm really happy. As you said, you've been here nearly seven years. January yeah. 2016, yeah. you signed. You must yeah. feel like part of the family. Also. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I feel like when you play in uh, one of the biggest teams in the world and uh, you have amazing family and uh, the fans are, are really amazing as well, uh, make me feel like, um, like, uh, like special, you know, like you feel like you are, you are special for, for this club and uh, this club is special for you. Um, of course, I want to. I want to stay here for for I finish my career actually. Because you turned thirty in the summer, you, are you now? You're more experienced now. Has your your job in the squad changed over the years? Uh, yeah, I, it's not. It's not really changed, but uh, because every year we have different, you know, uh, uh, players, and some players they come, some players they, they go. Because I'm I'm the longest player <laughs> in the squad right now. Uh, of course, you know, like uh, sometimes you need, if you don't play, sometimes you, you really have to be changed to how to help the team, how to help the squad, how to help the player they are playing, uh, how, how to help the, the player they don't play as well, how they, they can be training because some of them, they maybe they go down a little bit, you have to push them to train hard to, to help the team because every player in the team, we need them, every, everyone. 
because someone get injury, some we have red card, maybe one you don't have a good game, you have to come in to impact the game. And of course you need sometimes you need to change your role. Sometimes you play and you have to be focused with yourself and you focus about the team, how to gonna help the team during the games and stuff. Of course, you know, like every player I think you have to you have to change your role all the time to to see if you play you have to you have to be focused with the team with with a team with a thirty eleven. Of course you're gonna see what's your role in the game. If you don't play this time, how are we gonna manage yourself? How are we gonna train? How are we gonna help your teammates as well? They are playing or not playing. Of course this this a this a family. This what when we're saying when we say a family, this this what I mean about family. Family is not selfish. Family family mean we have to look to each other. how I gonna help you to be in better. This family for me. And finally, um, you've had some great moments so far in your Arsenal career. You want more, I know that. What are your ambitions for the rest of your career at Arsenal? Of course, of course, always I, I need to be in best, the best shape, the, 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 the best as possible to help, to help my family, my team, my, the fans to, to achieve things. Of course, uh, always I, I speak with myself when I speak to my family, I say Arsenal always deserve to be in the top, always. And this what, this what always, always in my head. I need to put the Arsenal at the highest point because this is what we deserve. The way we train, the the the, the stuff. The, you see, everyone at Arsenal in the same mentality. Everyone need the, to go Champions League. Everyone need to, to to win the league. You know, this this actually what we need. And this 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 what I love from from now from Mikel and. Uh, and we push to be in like this all the time, and of course I need to be w part of this of this uh, project to to win the league, to go Champions League. Uh, why not? Because we we deserve, and we are one of the biggest club in the in the world.